what can the town do to work with NYSIG, New York State Electric and Gas, to encourage bringing natural gas to Cumberland Head residents and the school? We need to keep the lines of communication open between all of the parties, Cumberland Head area. Uh, we've been asking people, not everybody, but we've been asking people if they have signed up, if they want natural gas, have they signed up and sent in their letter. Um, the town could, uh, in the newsletter, could uh, have a listening session out on the head to see what's going on there. I think we need to open the line of communication with the school, uh, school board, with the, uh, with the school, to see if there's something from that side. Uh, NYSEG being a corporation has to abide by the rules. Uh, we need to find out what all those rules are. I do not have a lot of background with natural gas uh, utility insulation stuff. So I, I, I've got it. I watched it being put in. But I don't know the permit process. As I understand it, NYSEG has a, a zone that it can install gas in, and it has to work within that zone. If it runs an inch of pipe outside of that, they get swatted. We don't want that to happen. We want to encourage them and have no penalties coming down on that side. Uh, the key, I believe, is if the school wants to convert to natural gas. If they will do that, then NYSEG will have the <coughs> cash stream, the revenue stream that it needs to justify running the pipe, or running the, the gas feed line in from out by Gus's somewhere. And once that's into the head, it will be a lot easier to run laterals off of that to the various areas. 